So now let's take a look at the other question. What is the most appropriate initial management? So now I don't know what is the story. There is no image in this question. So I'll straight up have a look at the options. Needle thoracosynthesis, CT scan, thoracostomy and X-ray. Okay. So these are the options. Now I'll have to read the question. I don't have any option. So herein, what we have to focus on is the age, 30 year, that's okay. Emergency, that means this would be some acute condition. Penetrating chest, kisi ne chaku mara chate. He is tachypneic, tachycardic, 126 beats per minute, hypotensive, cool peripheries. Now what does this mean? All this is the story of hypovolemia, tachycardia, tachypnea, hypotension, cool peripheries. That means he is losing blood and the history is there is a penetrating chest trauma. That means there is injury to some vessel. He appears extremely distressed. Okay. That means he might be in a distressed type of situation. His trachea is deviated. Now if his trachea is deviated, that means he is having tension pneumothorax. Okay. He already has been given oxygen via mask and as a large bore cannula in his right anticubital fossa, that means the airway, breathing and circulation are being taken care of. Along with fluid resuscitation, what is the most appropriate initial management? That means the patient is in emergency, ABC is being done, <clears throat> tension pneumothorax, already oxygen, IV fluid are going on. Now what? If you have to save the life of this patient, you all know you will have to put a needle. That means a needle thoracosynthesis and you know this is a 30 year old. This is not a pediatric. Chota bachcha hota, then the site of the needle insertion would have been in the second intercostal space in the mid clavicular line. So basically what we have to do is, this is an adult. So we will be putting a needle in the fifth intercostal space just anterior to the mid axillary line. If the age of the patient would have been less than 14 years, then we would have been putting a needle in the second intercostal space in the mid clavicular line. Okay. <coughs> if we take a look at uh, these x rays, though in your radiology classes also, you are seeing uh, these x rays uh, nicely. So, the crux of air is it appears more black. Like in this particular case, on this side, it is less black, but on this side, it is more black. That means more amount of air has been collected here. The same story here. This is less black. This is more black. So this would be a case of pneumothorax here. This is on the right side and this is on the left side. Right? <clears throat> In case of tension pneumothorax, the crux is there is a huge amount of air which is going inside because of this all the air is getting collected here that is pushing the lung which is pushing the trachea as well so this mediastinal shift what we are noting this is a case of tension pneumothorax patient will be in respiratory distress we have to immediately put a needle here so that all this air can be drained out then the lungs should be expanded so the breathing discomfort may go off so that is the concept in the management of this tension pneumothorax while you all know what we are doing in cases of hydrothorax or hemothorax if it is a case of hemothorax then again we are putting the tube that is called as tube thoracostomy like this this is generally 28 to 32 french in size and we are putting this in this area that is Again, the fifth intercostal space just anterior to the mid axillary line for hemothorax or hydrothorax. And you all very well know that in case of hydrohemothorax, this appears less black, or rather, we say it appears white. Plus, there is a blunting of the costophrenic angle. Okay, if there is a collection inside the white opacity seen inside. It should be an abscess or a parenchymal pathology. But if it is seen in the pleura, that is collection, effusion, hydrohemothorax. 